Good Monday morning, everybody. This is the one, the only Home Alone writer. On a Monday morning, it is overcast. I, last I saw, it was flurrying. It was raining yesterday, like we really need the rain. I mean, seriously, this is really getting out of hand. What I wouldn't give to, to actually have snow or cold weather, or maybe even sunshine. All right, so as you can tell, I am wordy, I am wired. I am a very, very wired rider for a Monday morning when it is overcast and rainy and the weather is just icky. Well, I'm wired because I had a wonderful weekend. What did I do? I went to see Disciple, okay? This is gonna, this may blow your minds when I say this, but up until maybe early 2013, I had never heard of Disciple. But my gosh, when I did, my only question was, when am I gonna see them? I had my chances, I had my chances over the past six years, passed on every one of them for one reason or another. Well then, just when I thought it wasn't going to happen, that everybody else was going to meet lead singer Kevin Young. This was my moment because it was just like, it's like I thought all, I'd seen all these pictures of people with, with Kevin Young. And I'm like, what about me? What about me? I want to, I want to, I want to meet him too. I just felt so left out. Well, just when I thought it was never going to happen, that I was going to be the only one who was not going to meet Kevin Young, I did. And you know what? It was a really, really great experience. And what really made it what really made it awesome was that I went with what I what is now considered the Knoxville chapter of Napier's Music Posse. So whoever is from the Posse who is reading this, or not reading this, duh, whoever is watching this, wow, y'all are so awesome, especially the, the Knoxville, the Knoxville chapter. The Knoxville chapter of the of the of the Napier's Music Posse or Weisberg Posse or whatever you want to call it. Craig Johnson, Steve Cagle, and Trent Taylor. Oh my gosh, we had a great time, guys. Great time. And we got to have dinner together. It was just awesome. Well, then, just when the Disciple Show started, there were plans to see Ace Freely in Whitesburg in May. There were there were even plans to for us to all to all get to all get together and see Mike Tramp on Tuesday. Everybody remember White Lion? I am gonna we're all gonna go see Mike Tramp on to, tomorrow night here in Knoxville. I cannot wait. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, it was just so awesome just talking about all these, all, all these things. Well, here's the thing. Here's something that, that I got a chance to do, got a chance to do on Friday night. Now, you're, you're going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but I got to talk just to get some pent up emotions out in the open and be able to have a great sounding board. There's a couple of people who are, are great sounding boards and to just laugh. You might, you might think, well, I laugh all the time or most of the time. Well, there was a, a short period of time a couple of months ago where I was in, I was in an environment where I just didn't laugh a whole lot or laugh at all. And I think that Friday, what Friday night was the first time in a in a while, and what I mean by a while, I mean mm, maybe two months, and that's two months too long. That I laughed out loud. I got to talk about things that had been on my mind that I liked. That oh my gosh, it, and it was just really awesome to to be able to get together with my friends and to think that we have all these plans. So it's no wonder I. Even after, oh my gosh, let's see, Saturday, I wrote two blog posts. I, what else did I do on Saturday? Oh, I also ran four miles and I, oh gosh, what else did I do? I don't know what else that I did, but I was, I was trying to stay focused. I was really trying to stay focused. It was hard. One of the very, very rare times that I have a very short attention span and I can't, I can't stay focused on something for more than two minutes. Well, it's okay. It was okay. I'm, I was wired. I was thinking, okay, if I if I 
we're, if I work through it the best I can on Saturday, all day Saturday, I'll be just fine Sunday. No! I was wired on Sunday! Oh my gosh! I still couldn't stop thinking about the great time I had and the great times I have that are ahead of me. And oh my gosh, all the things that I'm writing! Oh my gosh, there's no limit to it! So whoever is is, re, is watching this video who uh, who is part of the Bisto Blanco loyal beasts page, whatever that is. I, if anybody responded to the, the post about where Chuck and, and Chris are sitting on lawn chairs and asking loyal beast fans what they were doing this weekend. Well, my four words were no lack of writing. Well, there's no lack of writing. There's no lack of excitement. I am just wired. I have tried every every ice scrape I possibly could eat any kind of scraping thing to scrape myself off the off the ceiling. Nothing has worked. And the more the more I write about, the more excited I get. And it was awesome. So now you can see why I'm wired now. And I have tried to do I, I, I've tried to eat all I could just to just to get myself to calm down. No, I have, I have not had too much coffee. I don't even drink that much caffeine, as strange as that may sound. All right, so I, I've tried to, to eat all, I, all these things that would likely make you tired or eventually tired. Nothing has worked. Oh, oh, and it, it's, even, it's even really, really heartbreaking, no pun intended, to that that even I couldn't even I couldn't even calm down when I queued up Dog and Butterfly by heart. Oh my gosh, we got a problem here. So I thought I would just tell you that I am just wired and I am just feeling great and oh my gosh. So if if I have the chance to to meet Kevin Young just when I thought I was gonna not just when I thought I wanted to give up, wanted to give up and just wanted to, you know, say, say, okay, it's never going to happen. Deal with it. I cannot imagine the, the great things that are ahead of me for this year. It's only March. I have a great year ahead of me. So I thought I would cheer you up and encourage you somehow on this Monday morning. And I hope everybody has a great day. For those who are in Knoxville, stay dry. Hang in there. Spring's almost here. We are less than a week away from daylight savings times. The days are getting longer. The sun is going to, going to come up and we're all going to have a great spring. So endure this. We can do this. And But the thing is, can I be a little less wired so I can concentrate on the great things I have ahead of me to write? I can only hope. So there you go. Have a great Monday.